with Trish. Well, as if the wind wasn't bad enough, we've now been uh, bit with the rain bug, and it's raining back here in the paddock, but that's not going to dampen our spirits. I'm joined by trainer David Stratton. He's beginning to be a perennial leader among conditioners here in Ohio. And David, you have a trio of pacers set to go forward yet on today's card, starting with Arizona Lover in this upcoming Ohio Breeders' Championship from post nine. What do you think about that trailing position? Um, he's never done it before, and I'd like to follow a little better horse, but we'll see. Actually, the trio of pacers that you're sending postward are all in fresh off of victory. What's that, just a good prep for Delaware? Yeah, we try to like them good for Delaware because uh, everybody in the country gets to watch them. Well, you know, that is something, and everybody enjoys watching them. Tell me a little bit about Arizona Lover, something that we can't see perhaps on paper. Um, he's had some bad luck in the sire stakes. We had to do a throat operation in the middle of summer, and he's come back real good. Well, that is an important operation. How long does it take from a horse having a throat operation before you think they get back to where they're supposed to be? About two weeks. You can really tell if it really helps them or not. All right, Arizona Lover today, perhaps a horse that you have a lot of confidence in. I think I've heard you say one or two good things about him over the course of the season. Yeah, I've been high on him all year. Just He's had bad luck all year, and hopefully he can show them today. All right, let's move ahead then and talk about a horse that we've seen here at Delaware before, and that's Indian Fever. And perhaps uh, this horse has given you some of your most thrilling moments. A uh, tough campaigner. How do you think he comes into today's race? Um, he doesn't race every, very hard all summer, and he races every couple of weeks, but he got the money when it counted last week at uh, Northfield, going for 52000 he, he shows up when the money's around. What is Indian Fever's best racing strategy? Um, it always was on the front end, but this year we had to uh, start racing him from behind because his legs won't hold, but won't hold up all year. When a horse has been used to racing on the lead and cutting miles, is it difficult for them, in their mind even, to be persuaded to race from off the pace? Yeah, it's very hard to get off the gate. It took him three or four starts to learn how to pass somebody from behind, but he really likes to do it now. All right, let's talk a little bit about your horse in the 14th race. This one, not so lucky with post position eight. This is, or nine, rather, silent. Oh, no, you got I trail nine. Again. Yeah, trail again, silent yeah. Sammy. Yeah, I'm following the best horse in the state of Ohio. He was not very good in the final, and uh, George Brennan's driving him. Maybe he'll pick him up. All right, when you say that uh, perhaps not the best at this moment, uh, what have you been doing with silent Sammy? Um, we've been racing him, and... He's uh, drawing easier divisions and hasn't really fired, but hopefully he'll fire today. All right, that's a quick look at a trio of pacers sent forward by trainer David Stratton in today's Ohio Breeders' Championships. Good luck, David. Thank you.